Hi guys, it's Ben Heath from Lead Guru. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to create a Facebook ads frequency cap. Now, frequency caps can be very valuable because they can stop people within your target audience from seeing your ads too often, which obviously is something that you don't want. If someone sees your the same ad 20 times in one week, then you're probably wasting quite a lot of money there because after a certain number of impressions, um, they're just not gonna take action on that ad ad fatigue will have set in and your results will drop off, you'll be wasting money. So frequency caps can help you avoid that and show you exactly how to set those up in this video. So I'm right now inside an example Facebook ad account and I've got an example campaign here, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through the, the steps of creating a new campaign with a frequency cap in place because I think that's, that's more valuable. Now you wanna go ahead over here and click the green plus create button. Um, I'm gonna call this, um, I'm just gonna call this frequency cap campaign that's what I'm showing here. Buying type can leave as auction. Now, campaign objective. Frequency caps aren't available with all campaign objectives. Um, I'm going to select reach. Now, when would you use a reach objective? Because you've probably seen some of my videos and you may well have heard me talk about using conversions objectives a lot and things like that. And that's absolutely true. If you want to generate uh, leads and sales and, and directly from your customers and, and, and uh, focusing more on the short term, then absolutely you want to run conversions campaigns a lot. But one of the strategies I talk about often is the omnipresence content strategy, which works fantastically well, particularly for service-based businesses, um, anyone who's expertise-based who wants to build an audience and do so over a longer time period, omnipresence content performs really, really well. And we use the reach campaign objective with omnipresence content. So I'm gonna sort of set up a campaign with this in mind. Now, if you're wondering what on earth is omnipresence content, like how do I go about implementing that? It sounds great. Um, there'll be a link in the video description to a free webinar I've created called Three Killer Facebook Advertising Strategies to Double or More Your Revenue. And in that, one of those three strategies I demonstrate is an omnipresence content strategy. I'll show exactly how it works, why it works so well, how you can implement it. Completely free to watch this, by the way, guys. Just go ahead and check that out. Link is in the video description. Strongly recommend you do. Anyway, back into this. So we're going to go ahead and use the reach campaign objective. As I said, you can't set up a frequency cap with all the campaign objectives yet, although it may well become a thing. Everything else I'm just going to leave as standard. That's not what this video is about. Things like um, CBO. Um, I've got plenty of videos on those if you are interested. Ad set name. Let's just call this example. Ad set. Right. Let's save that to draft. Okay. So nothing we need to, can do about the frequency cap at the campaign level. We want to go at, into the ad set level. And then obviously there's tons of stuff at the ad set. I've got lots of tutorials that cover targeting, custom audiences, yada, yada, yada. The part that we're interested in is here, down in optimization for ad delivery. Now, as with most things, you can see that there are uh, various different options. Again, I've got videos talking about optimization for ad delivery, so I'm not gonna get that to here. I'm focused on this frequency cap. So frequency caps are really quite straightforward tools. So you can see that you've got here Keep people from seeing your ad too often, which is exactly what I said at the start of this video. Enter the minimum number of days that should pass before someone sees your ad again. Okay. Technically, yes, but you can set it up slightly differently. So with this setup, this frequency cat setup, we've got one impression every seven days. So that means that someone in this target audience can only see an ad from this ad set a maximum of once every seven days. Now, we can make that twice every seven days. So that's why I said that the Facebook's information is technically not quite accurate because that's not a minimum number of time, it's two within seven days. So they could see it once on Monday, once on Friday, or both on Friday, you know, it's two within seven days. So what sort of frequency cap should you set? What's reasonable? Now, if you're using the reach objective, you're, you're not normally gonna be running a campaign whereby you are directly going after leads or sales and things like that. If you're using reach, you might be doing that to warm audiences often, or perhaps a local market. You're trying to get your stuff in front of as many people as possible. That's what the reach objective is all about. In which case, I think a frequency cap of once every seven days is reasonable. Now with a conversion campaign, you're often gonna put the same ad in front of the same person more frequently than that because you want them, you wanna strike while they are on heart and you want to get them to buy. And if they've clicked on your website, you wanna retarget them and hit them quickly, get them to take action. But with a reach objective, your campaigns normally aren't set up that way. So I think the default of once every seven days is a good place to start um, and it does help spread your impressions out across your audience. You're not having 10% of your audience see your ad 
five times and the rest of the 90% not seeing it at all, which will happen with other campaign objectives, by the way. But you need to be flexible with this frequency cap. So let's say you are running a three day flash sale and you are doing it only for the local area or only to your email list and you're using the reach objective because you want as many people to see this as possible. Well, don't have a frequency cap of one every seven days. Perhaps you want a frequency cap of one impression every day or maybe even, not zero obviously, maybe even three impressions a day because actually you want to make sure that for those three days, people within that audience see your stuff a lot and quickly. OK, um, so just keep that in mind, right, that depending on your circumstance, have a think. You think, OK, given what I'm trying to sell here, what I'm trying to market, do I want one every seven days? That makes sense. OK, maybe not. Do I want a lot more than that, like with a flash sale? Um, do I want it longer than that? You know, depending on what it is you're advertising. One thing to bear in mind with the reach objective is that you will automatically, if I go back to the default, you will automatically have a frequency cap of one impression every seven days. You see, when I scroll down, I didn't set this up. It's automatically put in there. And that's something to be really wary of. If you don't want that at all, if you don't want that restriction in place and you want to massively increase it, you know, you said you could make a frequency cap of seven impressions every seven days or whatever it is, then go ahead and do so. Just be aware that it is set up by default to include a one impression every seven day frequency cap. And that's how you set one up. Very, very simple to do it. Hopefully I've explained through some of the logic of how you want to use them, how you want to implement them, all that sort of stuff. And you can go about making better decisions that will help your Facebook advertising efforts. Now, before you go, I just want to quickly talk about my Facebook advertising services. So my agency, Lead Guru, is a specialist Facebook and Instagram advertising agency. So we create, manage and optimize Facebook ad and Instagram ad campaigns for our clients. And if you're spending more than $3,000 a month or want to spend more than $3,000 a month, that's the starting point. Uh, starting budget with which to work with us, then I'd love to speak to you. And you can book a free phone call with me, a free 30 minute strategy session. There'll be a link in the video description. It's just an informal chat where, you know, you can find out more about um, our services. I can find out more about your business and we can basically work out if we're a, if we're a good fit for each other. And, and look, if you're a business owner or, you know, uh, an entrepreneur and you're running your own Facebook ad campaigns, there's a very, very good chance that we could get much better results for you. And that's not me trying to be you know, arrogant here. It's just that we're a specialist agency. We spend millions of dollars on Facebook and Instagram ad campaigns. We have dozens of campaigns running for many different clients in many, many different industries at any one time. We have experience. We know exactly how to get better results. It's like anything. If you hire a professional, you're almost certainly going to see better results than if you try and, and DIY it. So if you're at that budget level over the $3,000 a month, I would strongly recommend... Um, booking a call with me and seeing how we might be able to help. And you can leave things like frequency caps and all that technical stuff to uh, to the experts. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a, a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Click the little bell notifications for more Facebook advertising related content. Comment below to let me know if this was useful. If you've got any questions, of course, pop them in the comments as well. I'd happily get to those and I'll talk to you guys soon. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.